Hey guys, what's up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode number 20 of Pokemon Insurgents. How you guys doing? We are back here in Sonata City, the brand new city that I just reached at the end of last episode. So we're going to continue on through the game today. I hope that I can challenge the gym leader today. It's the fourth gym leader of the game. The theme of the gym is Normal Fairy, so it should be an interesting challenge. And uh, let's jump right into that. So I think Normal Fairy is because... It's, that's going to be a tough challenge because... Um, Normal's only weakness is fighting and fairy resists fighting so it kind of they play off each other very well So we're gonna have to we're gonna have a hard time beating those uh, types of Pokemon, but anyway uh, real quick though Before I jump into the festivities of the gym I just want to quickly throw a zoom roll in that Pokemon machine again because last time I got a, a water stone out of it But I did it again off camera and I got a rare candy So let's see if I can get lucky here and get maybe another rare candy or maybe even a nature change Wait, oh, it's been too short since you've done the last one? Oh, I guess I gotta wait even longer. I did it, like, yesterday. That's surprising. All right, well, whatever. Uh, what's in here, by the way? Uh, oh, the Sonata Hills. Okay. All right, that makes sense. All right, well, anyway, um, let's go ahead and challenge the gym leader. So, what do I want to do? I guess I'll just... I mean, my team's pretty much ready to go. It's It might be a little bit of a challenge, um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's just... Uh, Let's just give it a chance here. So let's go inside. All right. Are you going to give me a hyper potion or something or fresh water probably? The leader Harmony specializes in both normal and fairy types. Uh, be careful. Uh, she's really quite tough. Has a never before seen mega evolution. All right. Well, that's interesting. So I'm wondering what it is. Uh, we'll, we'll find out, I guess. How is this gym set up? All right. So there's just like a bunch of people. I guess I'll go this way first. Um, lots of fairy types in this gym, apparently, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I do have a little bit of a fairy weakness on my team, so hopefully things go okay. I'm just going to hit this guy with a superpower. That should do the trick. Good thing Azumarill has the best coverage in the game. Sylveon. Yeah, let me switch. Yeah, so I don't really have a whole lot of stuff to hit these guys, so I'm really not 100% sure what I'm going to do. Just gonna go into pudding though, because pudding doesn't really have any fairy weakness or anything like that. As long as this thing doesn't have like ice beam randomly. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm just hoping that um, you know, pudding's gonna be an effective guy in this gym battle because pudding's got good special defense and fairies for the most part are special attackers. So I guess I can't go that way. I'll try going this way. But yeah, that's my plan. I'm hoping I can be the gym today. That's really my goal for this episode. All right, Persian. Yeah, you're gonna get a uh, punch in the face with superpower. Azumarill is basically a superhero at this point. That's how dominant Azumarill has been. All right, so there we go. Clefable. Yeah, let me switch again. Uh, what can hit Clefable pretty good? I mean, like I do have kind of a bad like Tyrantar is weak to fairy. Houndoom is neutral to fairy. Cleaver is weak to fairy. Uh, Charizard's weak to fairy. And yeah, you know, like I, this is gonna be a problem. I, I could have some real issues with this gym. I need a steel type really bad. Metronome. Whirlwind. What the freak? Oh, I still attack though. Huh. That's funny. Alright, I'll just use Incinerate. Um, even though it's just going to be neutral damage. Evasiveness and... Oh my god. Oh my god, this is bad. Alright. Let me switch. Uh, let me go back into Pudding here. This is, this is bad. I gotta put this thing to sleep. Dark... This guy gets Whirlwind and Dark Void. What? You've got to be kidding me. Grass Knot? No. That's not going to do anything. Dark Pulse? Okay, I got to put this I got to put this thing to sleep. This thing is just being a pain in my butt. And I missed Leaf Blade. Awesome. Let me synthesize while he's asleep. There we go. Snorlax getting back up to full power. Got to respect Snorlax, man. Just dominant player. All right, Houndoom leveled up. Good stuff. Houndoom will probably help a little bit in this gym, just because, I mean, I don't know, his dark typing hurts him more than helps him. Oh, here we go. Okay, so these are, are these mazes? Yeah, they are. Oh, I guess I can jump in and out of them. Oh, this is confusing. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I can't go that way. Try going this way. Uh, oh crap, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'll just fight all the... I'm going to fight all the people in the gym anyway because I need experience. Swirlix. I can just water play this thing. Or uh, not water play. Water tail. 
Man, that freaking Aqua Tail, or that uh, Play Rough is doing so much damage. All right, let me switch. Um, let me go into Pudding. Energy Ball, ooh, get countered. Wish, nope, you're dead. All right, any day now. You can die, please. Finally, damn. I've noticed that like those like six gen Pokemon, they take a while to die sometimes. All right, Aromatisse, I'll stay in. Uh, Body Slam. It's gonna get the Wish though. Yeah. Well, at least I got the Para. All right. Leaf Blade. Yeah, like literally, I don't have anything to hit very super effectively. I don't have any Poison type moves or Steel type moves, so I'm just gonna have to try to you know hit them hard. I think the best thing. I mean, Cleaver could help because of adaptability, but he's weak to fairies, so it's 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 not looking good. Uh, let me throw um, Cleaver out, or not Cleaver, let me throw Pudding out in the top spot. But yeah, it's gonna it's gonna have to be the Pudding show. Pudding's really gonna have to show his worth in this uh, in this gym. All right, uh, it's a dead end. What other ways can I go? I guess, can I go that way? I can't go down. All right, well, that sucks. Can't go that way. Which way did I even come from? Uh, I think I went... I don't think I've gone this way yet. No, that's where I came from. Man, this is actually kind of confusing. How do I get through this place? Oh, wait, hold on. I can go up through here. Never mind. We're good. That's a dead end. Okay. Uh, how about this way? This could be the path to success. Oh, here we go. Okay. This is a confusing gym. Togeter, okay, Togekiss. That thing is, uh... Okay, this thing, this is bad. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to switch here. This thing's gonna destroy me. Let me see how much one Air Slash does. Uh, okay, that's a lot of damage. And it flinched, bad, bad, bad. Let me switch. All right, I can hit this thing with, uh, T-Tar can hurt this thing. Because it's, uh, it's a fairy type. So hopefully it just doesn't use, um... What's it called? Uh, and, like, you know, some so, some sort of uh, fighting move. Yeah, exactly. Or fairy move. Yeah, but I have a bad fairy weakness in the team, so I just got to get through this gym, and I should be good for the rest of the game. Because I, I don't think uh, there's going to be too many other fairy types. Gramble. I don't even think I can touch this thing. Like, not even close. Let me try just using rock slide, see how much it does. Yeah, I'm dead. All right, so Gramble's a physical fairy type, which is a problem. Let me try, uh... My pony's gonna get killed. I'll just try it anyway. Yeah, Gramble's gotta be, like, the single toughest Pokemon in the game for me to beat. Physical fighting type, because Pudding can't wall it. As you can see. Luckily, I got lucky, though. <laughs> I live with one health. Oh my gosh. Alright. Damn, this is bad. My team is getting straight rimrocked right now. Let me put Pudding, or not Pudding, Cleaver in the top spot. Damn, though, like, Tyranitar is useless in this gym, which is kind of unfortunate, because Tyranitar has been, like, a dominant effort so far in the game. I guess I can go this way. Oh, yeah, this has got to be the mat. This has got to be the success route here. Okay, maybe not. That just leads to the exit. Never mind. Let's try... Let's try... Uh... Okay, that's a dead end. Let's try over here. Let's go across this way. Alright. Okay, that was weird. I was gonna say, like, are you gonna, like, block my path when you, like, notice me? I guess not. Gardevoir! Okay. This is bad. I, I still might be able to kill it. Maybe. If it if I can live one hit, I, I should be able to kill it. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to live one hit. <laughs> oh, I can outspeed it. Never mind. Cleaver, for some reason, outspeeds it. Can't explain it, but I'll take it. Alright. Uh, let's keep going. Looks like we're on the right track, though. I think we're getting pretty close to the finish line. Uh, yeah. Okay, there's the gym leader. Okay, so obviously I need to go back. I think that's, like, obvious. Uh, but before I go back, there's, like, one more lady that I can fight in the front. So, I think... I don't think I fought this lady yet. Okay, so yeah, let me fight her. And then, I think I fought everybody in the gym. Okay, mill tank. Oh, I can kill this thing, no problem. Low sweep it. I should one-shot at 100%. So, like, the normal type Pokemon, I should be able to kill just fine with uh, Cleaver. But the the fairy type Pokemon are going to give me problems. They really are. Houndoom's trying to learn Flamethrower. Oh, that's clutch. Okay. Uh, let me get rid of 
Fire Fang. Because that's a useless move. Alright, that's clutch. That that could be useful for the gym. Alright, let's uh let's leave. Let's go heal. And then let's take on this gym leader. So guys, I gotta show you something real quick. Uh heal up my Pokemon. I actually made that trade with that fire guy last episode that I talked to. I made the trade for him. He actually gave me a Cinequil uh named Vulcan with a Typhlosionite as its item. So I guess there's a mega Typhlosion in this game. And it also had a good nature as well. So I was thinking about maybe training this thing up off camera and it could replace Houndoom. That way I don't have as much of a fairy weakness. Because Houndoom having the dark typing as well gives him a bad fairy weakness. So, well, it gives him a neutral to fairy. Whether if he was just fire, it would be resistant to fairy. So, I was thinking maybe I'll switch out uh, Houndoom for Typhlosion. But I'll train Typhlosion off camera. I was also even thinking about putting Excadrill back on the team. Because Excadrill just is the fairy slayer. So... I don't know, it's a tough choice, but I think I should be okay to kill the gym leader with this team, as, as long as I just don't get hacks to death. But let me go back to the gym. Alright guys, we are ready to challenge this gym leader. Let me save the game real quick, just in case something terrible happens. Alright, let's take her on. Well, if it isn't Dan, do you remember me from Sun Touch City? It's me, Harmony. We fought the Perfection Cult together. I digress. I run the gym here in Sonata City. I specialize in normal and fairy type Pokemon. Do you really think that you can take me on? If so, let's start. I can't wait to see what you'll bring to the table. All right, let's take on this lady. I'm hoping that I can win this. Uh, this is going to be a tough fight, though, because I don't really have anything to hit fairies, like I've said, like, 15 times already. But here we go. Fourth gym leader of the game. It's only taken me 20 hours to get here so far and 20 episodes. All right, good start. This thing is a uh, normal type. Here's the question. Who should I Mega Evolve? I think Scizor is probably the best one because of adaptability, 100%. So let me low sweep. I'll Mega Evolve and low sweep. Here we go. Please kill it one hit. That'd be awesome. Bullet seed. That's not going to do anything. All right. It hit five times because it's got skill link, but it's dead. All right. It's a good start. Good start. And scissor leveled up. Look at that attack, dude. 194. And he's trying to learn Hone Claws. Okay. What does Hone Claws do again? Uh, sharpens and boosts uh, accuracy. Ooh, that's actually pretty good for some of my moves here. But I don't really want to get... I could get rid of Night Slash because I do have uh, Dark Coverage on other Pokemon. Ooh, that's a good... Ooh, that's a good option. It would help me sweep. Should I do it? I kind of want to keep Night Slash, though. That's such a tough choice. I want to keep Low Sweep. I want to keep Cross Chop. Huh. That's so tough. Because the Dark Coverage is... Nah, the Dark Coverage is worth it. And I already have Adaptability. I'm good. It, it, that was a tough choice, but I, I'm just going to do it. All right, here we go. Sylveon. Um, This thing probably one-shots Cleaver. But I don't think it can touch Snorlax, because Snor it's a special attacker, and Snorlax can wall special attacks. So let's go into, go into Snorlax here. I'll put it to sleep straight off the bat, just because... Okay, it's got Psy Shock. That's a freaking physical move. All right, let me just synthesize here. Oh, you thought you were going to get me? Nope, healed up. Suck it. And now you're asleep. All right. All right, so this should work out. No, Snorlax making the plays. He did. She did full restore, but I'm not too worried. All right, so Snorlax took out the uh, Sylveon. Good job. Putting, just putting in work. All right, Guard of Warp. Psychic Fairy. So it's weak to Ghost. So I know what I'm going into. It's going to Charizard. Okay. All right, so Shadow Ball should really hurt. Okay, I did over half. I can live that. Yeah. Full restore, that's fine. That is totally fine. I can outspeed. And there goes Gardevoir. Alright, this is going very well so far. Okay. Houndoom got some stuff. Alright, to Toka Kiss. Yes. Let me switch. I'm going to go into something that can hit flying types. Tyranitar. Tyranitar can destroy flying types, actually, with his... Uh, He's gonna, I mean, hopefully he just doesn't use a fairy type in attack, and I should be okay. Okay, uh, rock slide. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Please don't kill. This could kill. Oh, Tyranitar's bulky. Never mind. Let's go. T-Tar out here making plays. Oh, you're gonna try to full restore? What if I get a crit? What if I get a crit? Oh, didn't get a crit. Almost got. It would've been awesome. Almost killed him. With Drew, going into Azumarill, okay. So it's fight fire with fire here. I have a Zoom roll too. 
Should I just like straight up go for the EQ and just finish it off? Nah, I kind of need Tyranitar to kill. Let me switch. I, I need Tyranitar to kill um, that Togekiss. I need it, so let me switch. Superpower. Okay, that lowers its stuff. All right, this thing's as good as dead. Aqua Jet, that's not doing anything. And you're dead. Let's go. Pudding. Coming in, doing work. All right, Togekiss. Yes, let me go back into Tyranitar. All right, I haven't lost anybody on the team yet so far, and we're down to, like, the last Pokemon, and this one's got, like, no health either, so. Oh my gosh, that almost just died with the the thing. All right, you can live this Tyranitar. Yeah, there we go. And there goes the Togekiss. All right. So this next, so last Pokemon's a Mega Evolution that has never been seen before, so I'm kind of curious. Okay, uh, Mill Tank. Mega Mill Tank, huh? That is weird. I never would have thought of that. Well, that's fine, because I have something that can destroy this thing, aka Cleaver. All right. So this should be GG. I don't unless this thing like becomes like a normal fairy type, which I doubt. This thing's gonna get destroyed. Mega Mill Tank, dude. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's like it's like Whitney on steroids. All right, should I just go straight for the cross chop? Just go for the W? Probably should. All right, here we go. Let's see what Mega Mill Tank looks like. <laughs> just a big fat cow, and you're dead. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to see like what that thing does or anything. Just just died right off the bat. Oh my gosh. All right, that was an easy battle actually. I guess my team is better than I thought. All right, good stuff. Victory for Dan. All right, I lost. Unbelievable. Uh, back when I first met you, I had a hunch that you would beat me one day. I guess that prediction was right. Congratulations. The Paragon Badge. And you can have this too. Ooh, Dazzling Gleam. That gives me some fairy coverage. I can probably teach that to Charizard, maybe? Dazzling Gleam isn't the best fairy move, but it's one of, if not the ones able to be taught with a TM. All right, uh, it's definitely a great coverage move for your team. All right, uh, next, you'll want to head over to Kepler City. The leader there is very good... Um, Miss Harmony? Huh? Who are you? My name's Nora. I'm a challenger, but that's not important. Uh, I know the hospital... You know the hospital just north of the city? Uh, I was sent... Oh, wait, that's a hospital up there, not a nursing home. Sonata Hills. Huh. Okay, whatever. Um, I was just sent here to tell you the power just got cut. The power cut? That's impossible. The system is protected. Uh, it shouldn't just fail like that. Dot, dot, dot. Unless it was sabotaged. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to go check it out. There are people in the hospital in very critical conditions. Uh, they need that power in order to live. Uh, would you tune mind giving me a hand? If somebody really did sabotage it, they might be dangerous. And I love all of the help I can get. All right, well, let's uh, let's help her out. But yeah, uh, beat that gym leader actually not too bad. I don't think I even lost a single Pokemon. Yeah, like I, I lived that pretty well. And I didn't even need to use Houndoom. I didn't even need to use Azumarill. Um, so my team is better than I think. I should not underestimate them. Just a quick outlook on the team right here. We got, uh, Cleaver and Tyrantar, which are a little bit higher levels than everybody else. Everybody else has got some catching up to do. But Houndoom is officially level, above level 50, and I can use Houndoom now on the team, I'm pretty sure. So I can take off the experience share, probably. Um, I might leave it on for just a little bit longer. But, uh, yeah, Houndoom is definitely usable now. And he'll be the sixth member of our team until something else maybe appears i don't know we'll see what happens uh, later on in the game i'm always looking to improve my team so um you know if i need to get rid of houndoom you know i will do that i mean i have no intentions of getting rid of azumarill no intentions of getting rid of charizard no intentions of getting rid of the only pokemon i could actually see actually removing from the team would be houndoom like everybody else i'll keep they're all really good so maybe my team is just fine how it is maybe this is my six all right well anyway let's go up to the sonata hills um and let's see like you know what i can help with can i do this freaking pokemon thing yet they, let me just try it you know why not uh i'm clicking the wrong buttons got okay game game you're gonna have to let me cooperate with me here okay all right let me uh throw a zoom click the wrong button again i'm sorry i really apologize okay so let's throw a zoom roll in there and let's see maybe if it lets me do it right now please let me do it right now uh save the game yes all right let's get started Please, Azumarill. Adamant Azumarill, please. That'd be awesome. Adamant Azumarill for Dan. You know you want to do it, game. Alright. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Uh, well, it seems your Pokemon came out holding an item. Lucky for you. Waterstone. I already got one of those. That's what I got last time. 
I swear, guys, I got a rare candy when I did it uh, in between episodes. Look. Uh, where is it? Did I already give it to somebody? Oh, no, here it is. So I can use that on somebody later on. But anyway, let's go up to the Sonata Hills. Also, I'm guessing that this trash here is going to get cleared later, and that's, like, the exit to the next route. But anyway, let's go up to... Wait, let's talk to this guy. Sonata Hills is both a home for the elderly and hospital for the sick. Oh, it, okay, it is an elderly home. All right. So I was right about that. Okay, wait, hold on a second. What is that? Uh, it's like a Manaphy statue over there. It's interesting. All right, let's go downstairs first. Oh, that's that's where they are. Holy crap. All right, hold on. I'm not doing that yet. Let me just go explore the place first. I've never really been in here, so I like briefly checked it out last episode. That's so funny how I go down the stairs and that's like where they are. Let's see. This man's asleep in his bed. Okay, that's a little creepy. I'll just check all these rooms. Maybe there's like some items or something in here. Ooh, speaking of the devil, the devil shop here. However, Pokeball, that's not really what I'm looking for. All right. Let's, uh... Okay, nobody in this... Nobody home in here. I feel like this is like the SSN right now from like Pokemon Yellow version where I have to go in like every room. I used to live in a gate village in the Ore region. It's a beautiful place. Uh, not nearly as quiet as Sonata City. Uh, which is rather ironic given its name. Man, that is so awesome that they have like references to like old games. If you guys don't know, a gate village is from Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. It's like a Nintendo GameCube game. That's actually like low key one of the all time great Pokemon games. It's on it's on GameCube, so it didn't get a ton of love, but um, because like most Pokemon games are really popular on the Game Boy. But I'm telling you though, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. That's a game I would consider playing for my second channel. That game is is classic. Anyway, let's just take all these items. I could use everything in here, so. Um, let me check in here, too. Nobody home. This place is kind of creepy, actually. Oh, here we go. Oh, TM9 Dragon Pulse. That actually reminds me. I gotta see, um... I already have Dragon Pulse on, uh, what's his name, though? But still. Alright, let me see. Who can learn some of these moves here? Because I have a bunch of moves that are really good. All right, T-Tar can learn Dragon Pulse, but he's a physical attacker. That's worthless. How about Scald? Can everybody learn Scald? This is like one of the most broken moves in Pokemon. Azumarill can learn it, but nobody else. Azumarill's a physical attacker, so that's not useful. Uh, T-Wave. Can anybody learn T-Wave? Snorlax, maybe, please? Uh, nope, only Tyranitar. Wow. Tyranitar's the only one that can learn anything. All right, and let's check out Dazzling Gleam as well. Anybody can learn this? Not able. All right, so none of my team can learn Dazzling Gleam, unfortunately. I was hoping that Tyrantar could learn it so he could get some nice coverage, but... Or not Tyrantar, uh... Charizard, but, you know, whatever. All right, let's keep checking these houses. Uh, let's see, what do you want? Uh, I was just dismissed from the hospital yesterday, so I'm packaging... Packing my things up. Uh, hope I didn't leave anything behind. Why Why did her, the text of her... The color of her text change? So weird. Ooh, Escape! I can always use more escape. <laughs> I, I'm hyped for finding Dory. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Uh, most people hospitalized don't stay here too long. Uh, we use the healing abilities of Pokemon to speed up their recovery. Very interesting. I bet you like there's like just like a boatload of Adino walking around. All right, nobody in here. Check in this room. Ooh, an Ultra Ball. I'll take that. That's also one of my favorite features of this game. Like, the items, you can tell what they are before you grab them. I mean, part of that's good and part of that isn't good. Is that there's always... It's, sometimes it's fun to get their surprise, but... Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Damn. Alright. Paralyze heal and another Ultra Ball. Alright, I'll take it. Now, what's this nurse doing up here? Is this Nurse Joy? Okay. Sh the patient's trying to sleep. And don't go riffling through the table, either. <laughs> those don't belong to you. Well, too late. Uh, I saw all your stuff. Sorry. Okay, let me uh, check over here, too. I think I checked this room last episode. Yeah, I already talked to that old man. All right, so we got all that done. Let's go down in the basement and see what's cracking. All right, I'm also going to put uh, Doom up in front. I'm actually going to train Hound Doom a little bit, at least try to. So let me uh, give him an item. I'm going to try to give him the lucky egg. Because uh, I'll try to get him up to some levels quickly. Started holding experience share. Yes, I would like to switch those out. Thank you. And let me put Doom up in front. 
So I'm gonna train. I'm trying to get Houndoom up to like 55, and then I'm gonna work on Charizard putting and uh, Azumarill since they're a little lower level. So I'll try to avoid using Cleaver for a little bit of time. All right, you again from the Sun Touch City Gym, right? Uh, pleased to see you again, Harmony. You too, Dan, Nora. My name's Tane. Uh, if you don't remember, I'm part of the Perfection. Don't worry, I didn't forget. Didn't you ah uh, slap a child and try to kidnap Reshiram? You at the back. I don't know why you're tampering with our power, but you better start explaining. Don't worry, Harmony. We'll turn the power back on. Uh, we just want to talk to you, that's all. Uh, Ryukra, what? What are you doing here? Uh, why are you here? Uh, I want to make a deal with you, Harmony. A deal with the power source to the hospital? Uh, are you actually blackmailing me with the lives of the people here? Ryukra, what happened to you? You used to be so... I have the power cord. Stop talking. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that's right is me. That's right is me. That is that even, what does that even mean? Uh, it's been a while. I'm the leader of the profession cult now. I was trying to find you. You run the hospital right here. You have access to all the patients in the building. Uh, you want to access the room containing the patient Maldi? Uh, that's my father's room, Ryukra. There's no chance. I'm not letting you near him, and you know it. I thought you might say that. We actually have your father's best interest at heart, believe it or not. Uh, we know he's sick. We know what his condition is. Let us help you. Uh, we can both get what we want here. I'll put the power back on if you like. Uh, then we'll go to Maldi's room on the top floor and we can talk. Fine, whatever. Just hurry up. People's lives are at stake here. Very well. All right, the power's back on. Okay, now follow me. This dude's sketch. He's mad sketch. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, you used to be so different. Dot, dot, dot. What? Who's this Maldi? More importantly, how does Harmony know the cult leader? No clue, but I'm planning on following them. Dan, you should come along. I'd love to have some support. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, he's still not talking to me after all what I said. I can't blame him. What I said was awful. I just hope that he won't sla snap and betray us. Uh, wait, what? I'm coming. Or wait up, I'm coming. Yeah, Nora's... Or Nora's a very terrible person for saying those things. All right. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. So let me... Uh, do I have to go up to the top floor? Oh, hello. You're back. Uh, top floor. Top floor. Is there another elevator that goes up? Which room is it? Oh, my God. I'm just I'm just guessing at this point. Nope. Uh, nope. And... Nope. 0 for 3. Let's, uh... Let's try this room. Uh, wait. Hold on. Let me just talk to this guy, because... It might be him, maybe. There's a man lying here asleep. Okay. Not that person. First off, am I even on the top floor? Are you him? Oh, no. That's the Agate Village guy. Okay, yeah. I already heard your spiel, buddy. Okay. Uh, let's try this room. Nope. Okay, this is confusing me. Where am I supposed to go right now? They said top floor. I'm pretty sure I'm on the second floor. This has got to be this room. This is the last one. It's the last one I checked, dude. What are those? What are the... Uh, God, I'm annoying. All right. Are you crazy? I don't care how desperate I am. Uh, I'm not going to let you force inject some weird chemical into his bloodstream. Uh, it doesn't matter if we were friends. I'm not letting you touch him or any other patients here uh you're a psychopath a cultist no way fine then you can do it here's the vial analyze it do whatever you need to do to convince yourself it's safe fine maybe i will dot 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 why is she just going over to that table there's nothing there to analyze um do you know why we want to use your father harmony uh maldi was around during the original delta incident in hoenn after deoxys was defeated above moss deep city uh, people below started reporting strange fevers. Everything ended up being fine, but testing showed that everybody's DNA was slightly tainted. Oh, it's like uh, Harmonic Conversions from Legend of Korra. <laughs> All right. Um, not enough to be significant, uh, but enough to be noticed if you look closely. Um, my point is, Maldi's body may not react to viruses the same way ours do. And there's one particular that I find interesting. Hold on a minute. This is just Pokerus. This isn't dangerous. We've known about this for years. Exactly. 
The Poke Rust is very unique as infections go. It helps the Pokemon rather than hindering it. It allows it to grow stronger. Uh, in the scientific world, we call this mutualism. Uh, what you're doing right now, what you're holding right now, is a strain that specifically increases the HP stat. Uh, now, even though the virus doesn't affect an ordinary people, it might be able to help your father. Increasing his HP stat could heal him and even lengthen his lifespan. But he's not a Pokemon. What, what is this? Um, with some fine tuning, we might even discover a path to immortality. What did you say, Harmony? Uh, I, uh, this really is just the Poke Rust virus in a tube. How do I know you're not lying? You don't. Uh, I owe you, Harmony. And at that moment, our interests happen to cross. Uh, you want your father healed, and this could be the breakthrough for our cult's research. Uh, it's merely a business transaction. Your father's life, our goals. Not only that, but if it works on him, it may work on you as well. Dot, dot, dot. You're right about that DNA thing. I'm told, he told me that a long time ago. Uh, I'm desperate enough to try it, but double cross me, Ryukra, and I swear, I'm glad to hear it. All right, here we go. What's going to happen? This dude's probably just about to explode or something. Bad stuff's about to go down. All right, let's get this over with. Um, Listen, uh, I don't like needles. If you guys don't mind, I think I'm going to wait outside. <laughs> Damien's such a little puss. All right. Seriously? Uh, he's in the room with a cultist, and he's scared of needles? Anyways. Okay, Dad, hang in there. Three, two, one, and done. What's going to happen? I don't think it... Oh, crap. This dude's just straight up jumping out of bed like he's the, the freaking grandpa from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, you're awake. Are you okay? Dot, dot, dot. What the freak? Wait, what? What's happening? What the hell? Oh my Arceus, what the? Shh. We need to talk quietly. Be careful not to provoke him. Ryukra, what on earth did you do? This wasn't supposed to happen. I'm not sure, but he looks a bit like Deoxys. I wonder if there's a connection. Uh, it would make sense. Deoxys is the virus known um, for its stats. Perhaps the Pokey Rust is an extension of this. You better fix him, Ryuka, or I'll... I think he's been healed at least. Uh, he should live longer too. The problem is that the virus may have impacted his mind somehow. Uh, it seems the experiment uh, needs far more fine-tuning. But anyways, we need to stay quiet. As long as we aren't loud, we can... Guys, so... <laughs> Fucking Damien. <laughs> so guys, how did it go? Did the needle go in okay? Uh-oh. Bad stuff's gonna happen. Did he just steal Damien? What an idiot. <laughs> what have you done? This is your fault. Uh, this didn't go quite as planned, but what a breakthrough it's been. Um, if he's really... Uh, if he really is immortal now, then I'm sure we can find a way to use it without the drawbacks. Uh, do you not care at all that someone just got kidnapped? What about my father? Uh, what did you do to him? Your father is fine, more than fine. In fact, he's the healthiest he's been ever. Uh, as for the boy, I'm sure he's fine. He may be infected, but the pokey rust helps, not hinders. My father would never do that. Uh, it's not really up to him at this point. And now it's time for me uh, to take my leave. I have an appointment to keep with my, to keep with the gym leader. Uh, I hope you appreciate this. Your father is immortal now, after all. This guy's a jerk, and he walked right through my hound doom. What a jerk! Uh, after all, Sylvan and I did for him. Uh, you think he'd be a bit more appreciative, Damien? Uh, listen, Nora, is it? Uh, we'll find your friend. I promise. Come with me. We'll try to figure out where Maldi took him. I'd, I'd very much like that. Dan, can you help us if you want? You can help us if you want. Um, but might find it more useful to head to... But you might find it more useful to head to Kepler City. Uh, I'm worried that Ryukra might have been talking to Anastasia, uh, the leader there. And when he said he had an appointment. Uh, when he said he had an appointment. Um, if you could warn her, she might be in danger. If, if you could warn her that she might be in danger, I'd appreciate that. The other thing is Maldi. Uh, if you guys can see him... If you guys see him again... Uh, you have let you have to let him know. Uh, we need to figure out a way to reverse this. For my own sake, I have to believe that it's possible. Come on, Nora, follow me. All right, all right. Well, uh, thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Pokemon Surgeons. Things are getting spicy up in here. This this game is just uh, absolutely crazy. Some of the stuff that happens, but it's 
really, really cool and creative on the developer side, just to coming up with these storylines. So I'm a big fan. So anyway, next episode, I'll just continue through the game and probably move on to that next city. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's been Dan Likes, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.